You know, it's been 30 years since Yankees catcher Thurman Munson died in a plane crash in Canton, Ohio, August 2nd, 1979. Not too many people knew Thurman better than this man right here. Marty Appel was the Yankees public relations director in the 70s. He's got a new book out called Munson. Marty, welcome to the program. And first of all, could you believe it's been three decades already? You know, I think about it for people our age. When Thurman died in 79, it was about that span of time since Babe Ruth had died, and they probably felt the same way. Now, you had actually helped Thurman write his autobiography the first time around. What made you write the new biographical version? Well, the autobiography was really on-field stuff. It was all Thurman wanted to get into was kind of a recounting of his career on the field. But I knew there was so much more to the story and that someday, if I had the opportunity, I'd want to tell it. Was there something new that really oh, startled yeah. you along the way, surprised you? Yeah, well, of course, um, an autobiography is just him telling his story. A biography, you interview other people. We did 150 interviews for this, classmates, uh, teammates in high school and college. Um, but it was a terrific family story also. Uh, the essence of it was he had a really unhappy childhood in a very dysfunctional family. It was a loveless home. His three siblings all left home as soon as they got out of high school leaving him alone without any support from the family as he achieved all his athletic greatness in high school. He got a girlfriend, Diane, at mm -hmm. age 12. Wow. He winds up marrying her. <laughs> her family kind of took him in as, and gave him a semblance of a family life. And then he went on to kind of break the cycle and to have a wonderful family all his own. How did you two become so, as close as you did? Well. Because I wasn't a sports writer, mostly. <laughs> he had a very antagonistic relationship with the press. And I wasn't press, I was in-house, I was the PR <laughs> guy. So we would occasionally, you know, we weren't the closest friends, but he, I was somebody he could comfortably go out with to dinner. And when it came time to doing a book, uh, I was safer than any of those sports writers he hated. <laughs> Fierce, competitive, and tough. The three main words always used to describe Thurman Munson. Accurate? Very accurate. And the fact is, of course, the Yankees had not had a captain since Lou Gehrig died of ALS in 1941. Um, George Steinbrenner and Billy Martin said this should be the Yankee captain. I was the one, as I recall, who brought out that Joe McCarthy had said the position is retired. There'll never be another Yankee captain. So, uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, I remember hearing me out, and then he said, well, if Joe McCarthy ever met Thurman Munson, he'd know <laughs> this is the right guy. Wow. And he was right. It was a brilliant move. On the all-time greatest Yankee list, would Thurman be the captain over Mattingly and Jeter? That's a tough one, and Jeter's great. You see, Jeter plays the role a little more traditionally because he's very accessible to the press, which you think is sort of one of the functions of a captain. You know, the media's got to go to the captain if there's a, right, an right. issue. And Thurman was, didn't speak to them. <laughs> so I think Jeter actually plays that part of it a lot better. Thurman's legacy, what is it? Uh, played the game hard and with respect. Just played hard and tough and really represented everything you'd want out of a New York Yankee. True grit, John Wayne kind of guy, right? Absolutely. All right, Marty Appel, thanks for stopping by. The book is called Munson. The Life and Death of a Yankee Captain, a must-read, not only for Yankee fans, but for all baseball fans. Let's take a look at our Time Warner Cable Plays of the Week.